Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to your CBS in Denver Daily Sports Line. It is Tuesday, October 12th, and we're coming off a good night on Monday Night Football. I told you I like the Carson Wentz passing prop over 226 yards. He cleared that no problem, and you had a good feeling that we were going to get that after that first drive when he drops off a nice little 76-yard touchdown pass. We were sitting pretty for the rest of the night on that one. The teaser, boy, we had to sweat that. We had the Ravens minus one, the over 40 and a half. Ended up getting both of those. Thank you, Lamar Jackson. Thank you, Calais Campbell. Thank you, Overtime. And uh, Marquise Brown, Mark Andrews, everybody on the Ravens basically uh, gets a thank you today. Let's talk some football as we look ahead to week six in the NFL. Broncos currently three and a half point favorites. The over under 44 and a half. And you can get the Broncos to win on the money line at minus 175 this week as they get set to host the Las Vegas Raiders. And of course, yesterday, Las Vegas Raiders head coach, John Gruden resigned. I had a lot of people say, does that mean we should just hammer the Broncos? Is that an absolute hammer bet on the Broncos? And I don't know that it necessarily is, and here's why. The question you have to ask yourself is, do you trust the Denver Broncos right now? And based on what we've seen the last two games, I don't know that I do trust the Denver Broncos right now. And so I can see why this is probably going to trend in the Broncos' direction. I could see this line move maybe just a smidge. But I just don't know that I'm ready to sit here and say, yes, you should absolutely hammer the Broncos just because John Gruden resigned. So uh, hold off on that and, and maybe see how this week plays out. This is one of those things. It could galvanize the Raiders based on the reasons why John Gruden resigned, based on the fact that they came out really flat in their game on Sunday, that loss to the Chicago Bears. I could see this being a reason why the Raiders come together coming into Denver on Sunday, having lost two straight Broncos, obviously in a similar boat. But I don't think that just because John Gruden resigned, it is an absolute reason uh, to hammer the Broncos. I would feel more comfortable on the Broncos money line or maybe a parlay of the Broncos money line and something else if you like there. But I'm staying away from that game as of now. Let's talk hockey, shall we? We got hockey starting tonight. Nathan McKinnon out because of COVID protocols. The Avs will play their first game tomorrow but we do have two games tonight as the Seattle Kraken officially uh, begin their new organization as they visit the Vegas Golden Knights. You've also got the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Tampa Bay Lightning opening up the season in the early game tonight. And let's take a look at the Stanley Cup futures. The Avs, the odds on favorite to win the Stanley Cup at plus 600 right now but you've got the Lightning right behind them at plus 700 which be, would be a back to back to back championships for the Lightning and then you've got the uh, Golden Knights at plus 750 and I don't love this bet as an Avs better um, and here's why one the Avs lost their goalie in Philip Grubauer and I'm not totally sure that Darcy Kemper and Pavel Francouz when he comes back and is healthy are going to equate to what Philip Grubauer did for this team so until I see that I'm not willing to place a bet on the Avs to win the Stanley Cup However, I do like the odds for Nathan McKinnon to win the Hart Trophy. You got Connor McDavid as the favorite at plus 200, and then Nathan McKinnon is at plus 650. You've got Austin Matthews behind him at plus 900. McDavid is the reigning Hart Trophy winner. But since the end of the 1986-1987 hockey season, in which Wayne Gretzky won a ridiculous eight straight Hart Trophies, only twice have there been back-to-back -back winners of the Hart Trophy. The most recent one was Ovechkin in 08 and 09. Eventually, Nathan McKinnon is going to win the Hart Trophy, right? I think everybody sees the talent. He has been a finalist two straight years and three of the last four years. The Avs are going to have a good year, and it's going to be in large part because of Nathan McKinnon. But if he leads this team to the top seed in the Western Conference or even the top three in the Western Conference, I think you are getting really great value at what he is at right now at plus 650. The implied odds here are that he has a 13% chance to win the Hart Trophy. I don't think anybody thinks that he only has 13% chance to win the Hart Trophy. I think most people would tell you it's probably closer to maybe 30% in terms of looking at the rest of the NHL and what McKinnon has done and what we expect him to do in this season. He's a guy who is going to miss the season opener, but he's not happy with where this Avs team has finished over the last couple of years. I think he is going to come out and try to make a statement to the National Hockey League that you don't mess with 
the Colorado Avalanche and that what we have seen, the disappointment of the early playoff exits over the last couple of years, is the Avalanche of the past and that this is a new Avalanche team. So I am more than happy to take Nathan McKinnon at plus 650 to win the Hart Trophy. The Avs also plus 210 to win the West. I don't hate that bet. Um, I'm probably not going to take it. I may sprinkle a little bit as a personal play, but I love Nathan McKinnon to win the Hart Trophy at plus 650. I think you get absolutely great value there. I think this should be closer to at least plus 400. So give me Nathan McKinnon to win the Hart Trophy plus 650 as my best bet for your Tuesday, October 12th, CBS in Denver daily sports line. We are, as always, brought to you by BetMGM. Place your parlays, props, and futures at the King of Sportsbooks. Download the app today.